All right guys, so I had a comment on one of my videos just recently and they said, you're a leprechaun, I know you are, and you have a magic pot of gold. I want you to show me your magical pot of gold. And as a matter of fact, I am a leprechaun and I do have a magical pot of gold. I'm gonna share that with you today and I'm gonna show you how you can start your own magical pot of gold and you're not even gonna believe what I'm gonna show you today. It is gonna totally blow your mind. And for me, it all started way back when I moved up here in the mountains about 13 years ago and I got some chickens, thought, you know, I'd like to you know, make a little money on the side. I'm gonna get some chickens, sell some eggs and I really didn't make any money. <laughs> so I started thinking, well, how can I make a little more money? So I started hatching the chicken eggs, selling baby chicks, and I made a little bit of money. Then I got into ducks, and I started selling fertile hatching eggs, making about $2,000 a month. You might have seen that video, and that was pretty good money. And then I got into ball pythons. And let me tell you, there's some really good money in ball pythons. You saw my very last video, how to make $2,000 a month with uh, 15 snakes. It's pretty easy. You can make an incredible amount of money with ball pythons. And let me tell you, what I'm going to share in this video is going to make that look like pennies in the bucket it's it's pretty amazing and the pot of gold that I'm talking about is called making money on YouTube and if you haven't heard about it your kids probably have all the kids they want to be YouTube stars because you can make so much money with relatively so little work it's amazing and actually um, there's been quite a few people asking me what is the formula for success on YouTube for making money on YouTube you know tr trying to figure out all the the ins and out of YouTube and I started looking uh, if you do a quick search on uh, like on Google how to make money on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> this crazy snake. This snake, by the way, is my albino female. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to last the whole video, but she's had the year off. She's getting really beefy. She's looking really good. I'm going to definitely breed her this fall. So I started actually, I found out about YouTube when I heard that there was a seven year old boy making $11 million a year doing toy reviews, toy reviews. And I was like, what in the world's going on? I've never heard of anything like this. And then come to find out the next year when he was eight years old, he started making $22 million a year. And I was like, that is some serious cash for a small kid. You know, he's, you know, how much experience can a kid have to, to do something like that? And then I don't know if you've heard of PewDiePie is his YouTube name. It's one of the top most subscribed uh, users on YouTube. And nobody really knows how much a YouTuber makes except the YouTuber. You don't know how much I make unless I actually tell you. You really can't find out. And my best guess for PewDiePie, this is my guess how much he makes. He makes $250,000 a day. <laughs> every single day he's making $250,000. And every single, let's see, so I was, I was estimating he's got about 92 million subscribers right now. He's getting a million dollar a year raise every week. Every week he gets an extra million dollars a year and you start, you, you can't even, I mean those numbers are so big, it's, it's amazing. And every month he gets a 5% raise on top of everything that he's making. <laughs> I figured out how, what kind of a raise he's getting, how fast he's growing as a YouTuber. And, and let me tell you, that is the potential of making money on YouTube. And it, and, and it almost gets to the point where you almost go from rags to riches. You start out, you're not making anything, and you get to a certain point where all of a sudden, you know, every month, pretty much for most YouTubers, if you do everything right, you're gaining about 10% every single month. So for example, if you're making a thousand dollars a month, the next month you make eleven $1 hundred dollars. <laughs> but if you're making a hundred thousand, the next month you're making a hundred and ten thousand. And if you get to the higher end, like you're making a million, and the next month you're making one point one million, the next month one point two million. It's kinda like it's kinda like if I gave you a penny and said, what would you rather have? A penny doubled every day for 30 days or a million dollars. And you get halfway through the month and you look, you have $168. <laughs> and you're like, wait, give me the million dollars. We're halfway through the month and I only have a hundred and so 
some dollars, but really if you keep doubling it the further you go in 30 days, you have over $5 million from the penny doubled every day. And that's kind of what YouTube is like. You start at zero and it's extremely frustrating and it's extremely trying. As a matter of fact, when I started putting out my videos at the very beginning for five months, I made zero posting daily videos day after day after day. And then when I finally got monetized, I was making 80 cents a day the very first day. It was pretty amazing. And it, it's almost like um, when I first started out, I really had my head wrapped around the whole penny doubled every day for 30 days and the potential of it. And I didn't really look at, you know, if I was making money or not. In my head, you kind of have to have this idea of you're going to make an incredible amount of money at the end. And you have to have the persistence up front to follow through and to really, you know, have the persistence to go ahead. And, and I got about, I'd say about six months into it and I realized at that point, I really didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and then at that point, I started looking on YouTube for videos. There's a lot of channels on how to succeed on YouTube. And I was, for months, I was just watching them day after day after day, hour after hour, just soaking it all and taking in all this information. And I want to share some, kind of the cliff notes with you today. As a matter of fact, most of these guys that are telling you how to succeed on YouTube, they don't know all the tricks. Let me tell you, there's, I'd say 99% of them, they don't know at all. And let me give you some numbers. Right now, I just passed 6,000 subscribers on my channel. And I'm making probably more money in the bank, direct deposit from YouTube, than some of these guys with half a million subscribers. And I'm gonna tell you kind of the tricks to, to, uh, to kind of tweak, you know, the, the maximum amount of, of, of growth and the maximum amount of money every month. Okay, so the growth and the pay on YouTube is never consistent from channel to channel. At first I thought, oh yeah, everyone's making, you know, about this much and they're growing about this fast. Comes to find out, no, they're not. It, it's completely different from channel to channel, from person to person. And I can share you, with you some of my numbers and I can't guarantee that you'll uh, do the same as far as performance. So I've been doing YouTube for about a year it's been almost exactly a year and yesterday I had day before yesterday I had my very best day I made two hundred and six dollars in one day and the day before that I had my very best day at hundred and fifty dollars the day before that I made hundred and fifty dollars as a matter of fact uh, yesterday I think or yesterday the the numbers haven't come in yet but I'm thinking I'll probably make between 230 $240. And the funny thing is, is I actually had a video that went viral. You get these little micro viral videos that kind of blow up and then shrink. And it like the peaked yesterday. So I'll make like $240 probably yesterday. And today it might come all the way down. I'm thinking probably, you know, to it, it, it'll probably go down and level out about $60 a day is kind of what I've been making. I've been making about 50 dollars a day pretty consistently and then when you have those little micro bursts you get a lot of subscribers and a lot of attention on your channel and then it dies down and you end up with more residual income so it'll probably be like 60 or 70 dollar days as i go and if you follow these steps i can almost guarantee you that within five years i i, I can almost take anybody show them how to do this and within five years you could be making a hundred thousand dollars a month easily on YouTube and <laughs> if you just follow these simple steps. So the first one that you need to do is put out daily videos. It is essential you put out daily videos. I've seen some people do weekly videos and let me tell you it took me a year to get to this point. If you're doing weekly videos it's going to take you seven years to get to this point. <laughs> that is the difference between daily and weekly videos. It just doesn't work doing weekly. And I've seen some people trying to do two times a week or three times a week. Let me tell you, it can work that way, but it's definitely slower. There's people that have been doing this for three or four years, doing two or three videos a week, and I already have as many videos as they have, making more money than they have in some cases. <laughs> it really depends on, you know, the number of subscribers and their views. And, and really what it comes down to is the views. You don't get paid for subscribers, you get paid for views, which is 
kind of counterintuitive because <laughs> every time someone asks me, you know, you have a YouTube channel, how many subscribers do you have? That's like the number one question. I'm like 6,000, they're like, oh, 6,000. <laughs> that's, that's not a lot of subscribers. And then I tell them how much money I make and they're like, oh, wow, <laughs> that's pretty good for only doing it for a year. So you really have to keep these things into consideration. So so all the big YouTubers, I, I'd say I'm subscribed to probably 60 channels and there's maybe two people doing everything right <laughs> so number one you need if you decide you want to make it big on youtube you want to make a hundred grand every single month in five years this is what you have to do you have to put out the daily videos and the the your channel has to be on a focused content for example um I've seen a lot of people will do, you know, this is me grilling out here and this is me cutting wood and, and here's my mom crocheting and, and let me tell you, if you jump from topic to topic, your channel will never take off in most cases unless, unless you really get lucky. You really have to have a really focused content, super focused. As a matter of fact, if you did like a fishing channel, you don't want to do just fishing all over the place. You want to do something focused like fly fishing. And then you have to think, you also have to think of, all right, I want to do a, 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 a channel on fishing that's focused on fly fishing. Now you need to come up with like a thousand different videos, a thousand different topics within fly fishing that you can do. So, so as a matter of fact, you know, if, if you're going to do fly fishing, uh, the, the way you don't want to do it is to, is to kind of run through everything all at once, you know, go and grab all your stuff and go to and fly fish. What you really want to do is break it down to individual topics like uh, say for example uh, the first one maybe you do a review of all the polls and the next one you do all the reels maybe the next one you do the waiters and then the next one maybe you go to the stream and, and kind of coach people on where to put the line how to work with the current maybe the next one your time flies and it's, it's all the individual focus topics within your focus channel that is the number one thing you really need to focus on as far as making it big on YouTube and for me that was going from cows to dogs Dogs, to snakes to everything and then every time uh, it's it funny because I got you know about six months into it and I kind of ran out of topics and then I was like oh I'll just go to the pet store and I'll buy a spider and I'll do a video on the spider a video on the roaches and and all the, the feeder insects and stuff like that and what it was really doing is work it was working against me because what I would do is I put out a snake video a snake video a snake video and then I would put out a video about cows and it's not necessarily about your viewers, it is about the YouTube algorithm that promotes your videos. So I noticed that when I put out a cow video after all these snake videos, I would watch someone's snake video and I'd see my cow video as the suggested video. I'm like, wait, don't put that there. That is in the wrong place. And what it does is it's confusing the YouTube algorithm if you're jumping around. And it doesn't know what your content is about. It doesn't know what your videos are about. It doesn't know where to place them as suggested videos after other people's videos. So that's one of the things you really have to keep in mind. So focus content daily videos number three is what you really need is every single video has to be at least 10 minutes long if you make a video and it's nine minutes and 59 seconds it's not going to cut it <laughs> what, what i'm talking about is you probably won't know until after six months and you get monetized and then it'll click you'll be like you know that's kind of what i did and it's like oh i should have made all my videos 10 minutes and what, what happens is is if your video is 10 minutes long or longer you get the option of putting extra ads in your video so so for example if you have a if a nine minute video you don't have any options you have one ad at the beginning of the video so if someone watches it you get paid for one ad and then if it's a 10 minute video you can put one at the beginning one at three minutes one at six minutes and one at the end so now you have four ads in the video you're getting paid four times as much you're, you're getting paid four cents instead of one penny <laughs> is essentially what you're getting but keep in mind it multiplies as you get bigger so instead of making two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year now you're making a million dollars a year <laughs> and i've seen these guys where they have you know a huge channel and none of their videos very few are above 10 minutes and even if they are above 10 minutes they don't know enough to put the ads in the video and i've actually went to some of these guys that are doing really well they're putting out the focus 
content, the daily videos, and you can actually look up kind of what they're making on a website called socialblade.com, and I'll put the link below. And I look at their numbers, I'm like, man, they're, they're not making that much money, <laughs> what's going on? And the, the reason is, is because they don't have the extra ads in, in the videos. So I've actually made some comments to some of these guys. I say, hey, what you really need to do is go in there and put ads every so often to, to really uh, in, increase the amount of money you're making from your YouTube videos. And the, and the response a lot of times is, well, if I put ads in there, people aren't gonna watch it because you know I'm not really that good. And if I put ads in, they're just gonna change the channel. And actually, the complete opposite is true. Because remember, every penny that you make YouTube makes the same penny. It's pretty much split 50-50. So if you put, you know, three, four ads in your video, you make four times the money. YouTube's making four times the money. And if YouTube's making four times the money, you know the algorithm is going to promote your video more. So as a matter of fact, some of my most viral videos, the videos that go viral the most, seem to be like 20, 25 minute videos that have some really good content that have a lot of ads in there. <laughs> and YouTube, you know, they promote those because it holds people's attention. They're, they promote it for watch time. And not only that, but they're promoting it because it has all these ads in the video. And I know sometimes I've actually had, I put quite a few ads in a lot of my videos and, and over the thousands and thousands of comments, I only had one comment that said, you know, I don't really like that many <laughs> that, that many ads in my videos. And I've had a lot of comments just the opposite. They saying, hey, I really want to support you. I'm letting all the ads run out completely. And I don't know if it helps to actually run the ads out completely or not, but it's kind of interesting how, how it works. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I would say, you know, you don't really need a fancy camera and the lights and everything. You can just grab a phone or a cheap camera. That's how you start. And then once you start making the money, <laughs> then you can take that money and reinvest into the nice camera and the lighting and the studio. And this is kind of like my snake studio here. It's pretty much, you know, I do YouTube videos every single day and I'm trying to come up with creative topics. Speaking of topics, another great idea if you're struggling for topics, go to another snake channel if you're doing snakes and kind of sort through their videos and and see uh, you know if they have some topics that you can kind of borrow and can spin off I, I do a lot of that I had one called I think it was like 12 amazing snake facts or something and I sat down for about three hours and I watched all these snake fact videos and I picked out the most amazing snake facts from all these videos put it together and made my own custom amazing snake facts and that's kind of what you have to do is, is take ideas from all over and and put them together and sometimes you're just you know kind of making stuff up at the last minute and and sometimes it's really plain sometimes I can sit down especially if you have a new channel I can sit down and go all right I'm gonna do these 15 topics well that's content for the next two weeks and it's, it's for me it's easier starting a YouTube channel than getting to the point where I am and all right I have you know 350 some videos out <laughs> and I have to come up with a new topic or a new spin on an old topic or something new and refreshing for my viewers so there's a lot of things to it there's uh, uh, I would say the initial part is the hardest putting out you know I actually coming up with with a with a channel a channel name a channel content and a narrow focus and then some ideas behind that focus that you can do uh, one of them you know if, if you don't do a reptile channel here's here's another idea that I just kind of found this and there's so once you get into it there's so many ideas that man I wish I could make a channel on this I wish I could make a channel on this crochet channel are, are really popular if you have someone who crochets uh, puzzle channels if you have those little wooden block puzzles and put them together you know you could put one out you probably don't have to do you know daily videos like on a puzzle channel or something like that you could probably do every other day and do really well and uh, uh, I would say auto repair. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people where they're doing just random stuff and it's always the auto repair stuff that really takes off. And there's, there's just so many ideas that uh, you, you could do for channels. It's, it's pretty amazing. And I just decided, you know, I really enjoy working with my animals. And what I'm doing pretty much now is I focused on the snakes. And instead of just doing only snakes, what I'm doing is snakes at the beginning of some of these videos. And then, you know, I got all this other stuff. So then I'll show 
of my frogs at the end. I'll do snakes at the beginning and I'll show my dogs instead of doing one video on dogs alone or cows or geckos or something like that. And you can do that, but you'll grow a lot slower. If you look at the, the new subscribers in the last month versus you know how many subscribers you have, you can pretty much get a feel for how fast people are growing. And if they're jumping around, they're growing pretty slow. Let me tell you, usually less than 1% a month. And if you're focused on a topic, I've seen people grow as fast as 50% a month. <laughs> Some people are just, you know, they're just crushing it, you know, and really, really have a focused content and a focused channel. So that is my pot of gold that I wanted to share with you. Let me tell you, once you get down the road and you start making some money and it's and the money grows exponentially, there's nothing like it. Let me tell you, and you think about investments, you think about jobs, everything, no, there's nothing that compares to the potential money on YouTube. Once you get down the road, you start making you know some serious money and that money expands pretty much exponentially. 10% raise every month, you know, that's, it's, it's almost, it's almost, uh, the, the, the numbers are so big, it's almost hard to wrap your head around how much money and, and what you could actually do with that money. And, and for me, I think one of the biggest things is instead of just handing out the money, I would rather teach people how to do what I'm doing and make the same money and then they have the money. It's, it, it gets to the point where the money's so easy that it'd be easy to give it away. So you could really, <laughs> you could really enrich a lot of, you know, nonprofits and churches and people People struggling and it just I mean there's the potential is just incredible once you think about you know the easy money and then you can turn around and bless a lot of people so that's pretty much it thanks for watching and I will see you next time